Sitting on the toilet is where I do most of my best thinking. And today, I started thinking about toilets. They're incredibly well thought out, and inside each system to help the toilet flush is a marvellous piece of engineering called a siphon. And I've got a very exciting demo that you can do at home that explains how they work. This cup is my cistern, and this one is my toilet bowl. To flush the toilet, we could just put a hole in the bottom and let the water flow out the tank, but this makes the toilet much more likely to leak. We could put a hole in the side, but then when I pour water in and let it flow out, well that gets clumsy and a lot of water gets left behind. A siphon lets us put the hole higher and use all the water in the tank. To make your siphon, you're going to need a plastic cup or plastic bottle, something sharp to make a hole, but make sure that you get a responsible adult to help you with this, a straw that bends, and something to seal around the hole, like blue tech. I love siphons because they're so simple to make and yet the science behind them seems quite complex. This cup is higher than the second one, so gravity pulls the water out, but the straw goes uphill before it goes down. When I pour the water in, the water won't flow out through the straw until it reaches above the bend in the straw. But then once it does, the water flows up and through the straw and out and continues to pull the rest of the water with it until the water level reaches the bottom of the top cup. So when you press the lever on your toilet, that sets the siphon going and flushes all of the water out into the bowl without any leaks. Now that we know how siphons work, we can have a little bit of fun experimenting with them. 